Well, we're relieved that it's finally over. Uh, we're relieved that he's not going to any longer have to be in a prison. He doesn't deserve to have been in a prison for one day, and yet he's already spent 10 years in prisons related to these events, and five of those in an Israeli death cell. I can say that after two years of legal proceedings in Germany, it remains clear to everyone today that there is still not one scintilla of evidence that indicates that my father hurt even one person. And for Germany to convict him and punish him for all these years since they captured him as a, a prisoner of war, uh, to today blame him for the happenings at Sobibor is shameful. While so many of the Hitler henchmen still live in German nursing homes today and going unpunished intentionally by the German government. Well, we're definitely appealing immediately uh, in Germany, and we also have a process which has begun in the United States uh, to uncover the fraud that took place, which led to him wrongfully being sent to Germany in the first place. I would continually encourage him to stay strong, never lose the faith. Uh, God is good, and in one way or another, uh, the truth always comes out, and things looked very bleak in the state of Israel many years ago where he sat in a death cell uh, with a death sentence, uh, wrongfully convicted. Um, you know, we're in a similar situation today. Again, he's in a foreign country as a stateless person, but we're hopeful that the United States justice uh, will take over once again and right the wrongs of the past.